Okay, so this is called, um, and everyone feels stress. We all go through stress. We're, we, we're juggling our work, our school, and sometimes we have relationships. And even if you're not in a, your own personal relationship with someone else significant, you always have family to throw stress onto you. And just recently, me, I've gone through a horrible breakup, and I'm trying to like focus on school. Whenever I'm studying, I, I'm reading my books, and I can't focus. <coughs> Information goes in, but it's <coughs> thing. So what do I do to help me study? I... <coughs> take out a binder, a sheet of paper, and I'll cut out sheets of paper, and I start folding little stars, little origamis, to help relieve my stress. Um, <clears throat> hope being folding paper helps relieve your stress because the fact that you're using both your hands to focus on such something so small and like delicate, it uses both sides of your brain because you're using both of your hands. So there's no room for the stress to occupy your brain. And as um, Richard S. Lazarus once said that Stress is just a condition we feel when we believe that the obstacles we are facing cannot be overcome by the resources we have. So, folding little simple stars and hearts help um, relieve your stress because it's so simple and easy to do that it doesn't take up much of your effort at all. And when you finish, you have these cute little stars and something positive to look at. <laughs> so, in this demonstration speech, I'm going to show you how to prepare the sheets of paper to make them. How to, I'm going to show you how to make little hearts out of the paper, and I'm also going to show you how to make stars out of the paper. So for the sheets of paper, I love using just normal, whatever color, <coughs> or whatever line paper you can find, <coughs> because the lines are already set up for you. You don't have to measure out the lines or anything, you just cut out the lines. So I do this while my home. I recommend that if you're going to have a stressful day, or whenever you feel like the need may be, to cut these ahead of time, because you don't really have free time throughout your day to cut the paper. For these little stars, all you're going to need is to cut out a single line of from the line paper. That's all you need, but the entire strip. So make sure you cut the lines as straight as you can, because it does affect <laughs> the folding a lot. Then you should have a few strips like this. I, you can get about 30 stars out of each sheet of paper, so yeah, it's a good time for someone just fun to do. For the hearts, I like doing double strands because they're way too small if you use a single strand of paper. And, so, so. and also, if you don't want to spend your time cutting all these strips of paper out and doing it yourself, you can go to pretty much little, any little Asian store and they have these little packs of strips of paper that are decorated for you, so that you just throw it in your backpack and just carry around with you whenever you need it. They usually cute, sparkly, or designs. But I'm cheap, so I use paper. <laughs> so for the first step of these hearts, you're going to have to fold a little triangle at the top of the paper, like that. And then fold down the triangle. And you're going to make a total of five folds with the triangle. One, two, three, four. Make sure as you're folding it to keep the paper as tight as you can <coughs> so that when you do puff out the little heart or stars that you're folding that it's a lot easier and it doesn't screw up. So when you're done, you should have a little triangle at the top of your paper like that. And you take the other end of the strip and you fold it over. Kind of like you're making another triangle. Not that even, but <laughs> looks like that. And you're going to cut along that line. <coughs> you're then going to take that point, stick it into the slot. And try to gently nudge it in there. Make sure you press down so that it's nice and flat. You're going to have a, what looks like a little like paper football. And before you puff out your star, or your heart, I like to cut off these little ends. So once you do puff it out, it doesn't look like a little horn -like thing. It actually kind of has a support to kind of have a shape of a heart. I cut off these little ends. And then to puff it out, I push down the center here with my finger now. And it should just come right out if you do it right. 
that's good enough. It's a little hard. <laughs> <coughs> Next step, I'm going to show you how to do is how to make all these little stars, right? I think it's a lot simpler and it's easier to do. So, the first step, which is usually the hardest step for most people, is that you have to make like a ribbon with your strip. And then I pull my ribbon towards the top of one end. As you can see, one end is over the other. You take the other end and you stick it through the hole of the ribbon and gently pull it down and try to keep it close to the end of the strip. Try to get this knot as tight as you possibly can. Try some time trouble. Okay. When you're done, you should have a little knot in your paper like that. You're then going to fold over this end and look at this other side. If it goes past this edge, it's too long, so all you need to do is just tear off that extra sheet of paper, throw that away. And then take this sheet and stick it under the left. And then when you're done, you should have this like, little pentagon at the top of your strip of paper. And as you can see, there's a line right here. And on this other side, there's not really any folds. And what you need to do is fold over this line with your strip of paper. And follow the shape of the pentagon to make sure that it's along the shape. You need to fold this nice and tight too. And you just continue with the whole strip with that pattern with the pentagon. And By the time you finish, you should have a, <coughs> a little flat, thick piece of paper and shape like a pencil. <laughs> and when you get to the end, you're going to want to keep the end so that it goes past the line so you know you have enough extra paper. And again, if it passes this edge right here, you can tear off that extra paper. Then again, take the, this end and stick it under this flap. Just kind of stick it in there. <coughs> and to pop out your star, I've gone through many trial and errors, and for some reason I tend to screw this up. And what you're going to see is when over the folds, some folds have paper that, like, there's an opening and some are without the openings. It's easier to push down on the sides without the openings first, down the center with your fingernails. And then just continue all the way around this stuff. You should have something that looks like a star. And just probably watching both of these, like you're just focusing, trying to think about it, and maybe whatever was on your mind this morning when you woke up, you probably already forgot about it. Maybe now you're thinking about it because I brought it up, but... <laughs> <laughs> but it's just so soothing. When you're done, you're like, yeah, I did this. Okay, now what I need to do? And then you focus on your priorities, and there you go, you have these stars. And they're also cute to decorate. As you can see, this one is yellow with a little star on it. And when you're done with all your little projects, I keep mine in a little container, but it's a lot nicer and decorative if you put in a clear glass jar. You can keep it on your desk, and I like to do that because when I come home, I tend to put it somewhere like near on my own, the kitchen room dining table. So when you walk in, there's something like just it's something positive to look at. It's not gonna you're not gonna walk in with a bad day. Oh, oh, cute stars! I'd still be mad, you know. <laughs> so, <laughs> so in this demonstration speech, I demonstrated how you can fold paper to help relieve stress and how to. Prepare your sheets of paper, what you buy them if necessary. You can buy them at any little Asian store. It helps you save a lot of time and it looks a lot nicer because the strips are already prepared for you. I uh, showed you how to make an uh, okay attempt how to make parts and a better attempt how to make stars. So, if you're ever stressed, just it's, it helps a lot just to fold paper. And just remember this when, next time you're freaking out or something. Thank you.